Now, if you feel like your infuse system is leaking, I'm not saying it's impossible, but every system is tested six different times to ensure that all of our sills are functioning properly. But let's go through a few of the things that could be causing it to leak potentially, or something that might make it appear to leak. First is when you fill up your system, because this is a backwash proof system, the water or flavor always stays in the top part of the straw. And when you fill it up, if there's any sort of air in the straw here, so if there's no water in there, there's air in the straw and there's water in the top. So when I put this down, you'll see it bubble up. See that start to flow out of there? That's not broken, that's just a law of science. We're sorry. The next possible leak scenario or something that would appear to be a leak is once that water is in the top here, there are a few air channels that go down into the bottom, bottom of the chamber. So if you ever get water into the top and all of a sudden you start to feel like there's a drip or two that are coming from your system, 99% of the time it's coming from the water on the top that's just draining down in. So it is annoying, but it's not broken. And so to eliminate that, what we suggest is just, if the water comes onto the top, make sure that you dump it out over a sink, give it a good shake, and that should keep everything dry for you. The next potential leak spot is the very top part here. In order for the system to work, it has to let air into the bottle while the water is pulled out. But that requires that there is a hole through the lid. And so if you were to turn this onto its side with the lid open, you will actually leak out of two places. You'll leak out of right there or any water that would be in the system, obviously will also leak. Because it's sealed, it's holding it, but it does come out. So the same problem could exist. The water could be coming in through there, getting into the top and then draining down through the system, making it appear like there's a leak. But in reality, it's just some water from your bottle. So not the end of the world, but we do apologize. We're working on overcoming that scientific principle, but it's going to take a minute. But as long as your nozzle is closed, like it's supposed to, you should have a perfect sill on there and you shouldn't have to worry about any leaks coming out of the bottle. Now let's talk about if there actually is a leak in your system. And if there is, again, we are sorry and we will make it right for you. Just let us know, contact our customer service. We'll get you taken care of right away. I'm gonna show you how to test real quick if there is a leak in the system. It's really simple. First, you're gonna get some water into your straw. Take a sip and it should be all the way full. If you let that sit here for a minute or two, that level of water should not change. That means that the sills are fully intact and the system is completely sealed. If that does start to drip down, there may be a potential leak. And if you contact our customer service, we'll make sure we get your product warranty for you. The next place where you might get a leak is in the cartridge itself. This is a glued system. So there is a potential for error in there, but we do test them to make sure that they're sealed. But a good way to test it as well is if you feel like you're getting some flavor leaking out in the inside of your system, take this and fill it up with water, put it on a towel and leave it overnight. If the water is still all in the cartridge, that means you've got a good cartridge. If you do notice some water has leaked out of it, once again, let us know. We'll get you a brand new one shipped out right away. And then the last spot where you could get a leak is when you're pulling your cartridge out. This is a spring-loaded sill, which is what allows it to function, but it also has a small chance of error. And so if you ever pull out your cartridge and you feel like there's a drop or two right here in the bottom, that could be what it's from. Um, and the best thing to do with that is just make sure you push it in all the way and then pull it straight out. That should eliminate it. If you feel like it's a constant problem, let us know. We'll get you a new one shipped out right away. And the last thing is when you're filling up your flavor, make sure that if you do spill on it, that you wipe that off with a paper towel or rinse it off. That will eliminate any potential of the flavoring being inside of the system itself. Because a lot of times, because it is so concentrated, it'll look like it's got a big leak, but it might just be a tiny little drop from something during the filling process. So now that we've gone through the potential leaks, if you double check your system, I think you'll see that it's functioning properly. So let's plug in your flavor, turn on your dial, 
get flavor or water on demand exactly the way you want it.